from the Massachusetts Broadcasters Station of the Year. This is Western Mass News at 6 p.m. A petition is circling the Internet calling on Springfield's mayor to remove the police department's commissioner. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli digging deeper for us, speaking with the organization behind that petition to see why they're calling for change in leadership. She joins us now live. Sarah. Chris, the organization I spoke with say they believe the commissioner puts the police department but first over the citizens that they are supposed to protect. And so far, this petition has more than 350 signatures. The Pioneer Valley Project is demanding change in the Springfield Police Department, calling on Mayor Dominic Sarno to remove Police Commissioner Cheryl Clapper from her position through an online petition. Well, there's missteps and then there's decisions that communicate a set of values. And from our perspective, what has been communicated recently is very divisive. Tara Parrish, director of Pioneer Valley Project, is behind the petition, which has hundreds of signatures. She says there are several reasons why they want to change in leadership. The most recent is the firing of police officer Florissa Fuentes, who posted on social media a photo of her niece holding up a sign that stated, shoot the F back, while another person in the picture held a sign saying, who do we call when the murderer wear the badge at a Black Lives Matter protest? She didn't need to be fired. She didn't need to be fired. And, you know, there's a whole spectrum of possible disciplinary action that could have been taken. But she was fired. Another notable reason, Parrish says, is the commissioner's decision to bring back five suspended police officers who were tied to the 2015 incident and Nathan Bills, where off-duty officers are accused of beating four people. It suggests that um, that blue line is... it. It's, it's the most important thing, right? That the community that is supposed to be served is, is not as important. We thought, we thought it, was, it was unethical to bring them back. Western Mass News reached out to the mayor's office for a comment. He sent this statement that reads, I stand in full support of Police Commissioner Cheryl Clapprood 100%. The mayor is gonna have to make a decision about whether he's gonna respond to the public's pressure on this issue. And, you know, today he's standing by the commissioner as, you know, and, and I think that's not a surprise. We reached out to the police commissioner early this morning for a comment we have not heard back. Live in Springfield, Sarah Grinelli for Western Mass News. Sarah, thank you for that live report. On Thursday, MGM Casino will host the first look at their new safety protocols being put into place ahead of the scheduled July 13th reopening date. Western Mass News will be getting an inside look throughout the casino floors, including how custom hand washing stations will be operating and how slot machines and table games will be social distanced. In addition, we'll hear from Chris Kelly, the president of the Northeast Group of MGM Resorts, on all the plans ahead of Monday's reopening. Now, here's a look at today's numbers of COVID-19 cases. So far, the state reporting 140 newly confirmed cases, with a total number of 104,799 in the Bay State. There are 15 more deaths today. The statewide death toll among rather confirmed among confirmed cases rather stands at 7,000. 998. The debate over wearing masks in public continues to play out over social media, between friends and here locally inside businesses. One local ice cream shop is begging for their customers to be patient and follow their rules following a series of unruly interactions. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us now live with more on that. Audrey. For years, people have complied with the no shirt, no shoes, no service rule at businesses and stores. But the owner of Harold's Ice Cream here in Northampton says that recently the no mask, no service rule has been met with yelling, rude behavior and objects thrown at her employees. People who don't want to social distance and they don't care how many people 
we have is an occupancy rate. Before COVID-19, the neighborhood ice cream shop is the last place you'd expect someone to be in a bad mood. But Judy Harrell says recently her employees have had difficulty enforcing face mask and social distancing rules. Did you see the ice cream get tossed at Hallie? Employees say some people are not understanding that in a global pandemic, the customer may not always be right. We do have to follow rules and, and as an employee and someone that's in charge here, I do have to make sure that these are followed. The business can decline entry to a customer who refuses to wear a mask for non-medical reasons. With the debate continuing over personal freedoms and face coverings, Western Mass News spoke with attorney Joe Pacella. He says businesses cannot refuse services to people over discriminatory reasons like race or ancestry. But wearing a mask is not one of those protected classes. And in fact, pursuant to Governor Baker's executive order, businesses are required to enforce the wearing of masks. For Harold, she says enforcing these rules and policies has created the biggest challenge in the shop's 40 years in business. It's the hardest summer we've ever had. And I don't mean financially. Yes, it is the hardest financially as well. But there are more angry people out there right now who it's my way or the highway. And although indoor dining is now allowed in Massachusetts, Harold says she has limited space. For that reason and more, she's taking social distancing a step further and asking all her customers to comply. The only ones now allowed to eat inside the store. Maxim Maven Bear. <laughs> Carol says that the reason why she's sticking to the rules so much is because her ice cream shop is popular with families and young children. And she's concerned about those young kids and their parents contracting the virus at the store. Live in Northampton, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.